Beyonce reacts to Kanye's ex revelation, supported Kanye West on the award she missed out. Well, 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 it looks like some drama is starting to brew up between Beyonce, Amber Rose, and Taylor Swift. If you're wondering why, well, it all stems from the fact that Beyonce seemingly positively reacted to Amber Rose's claims about the iconic 2009 VMAs. For those who need a refresher, this was the moment when Kanye West famously interrupted Taylor Swift's acceptance speech, claiming that Beyonce's music video deserved the award instead. Now, Amber Rose has addressed this issue and voiced her support for Beyonce and Kanye's opinion. She believes that Beyonce truly deserved the award over Taylor Swift and that Kanye was actually telling the truth. Want to know more? Let us take you through the details. During a recent interview where Amber Rose was talking about her clothing line and YouTube page, she revisited the 2009 VMAs moment, telling Entertainment Tonight, I don't want to say the wrong thing because I love Taylor Swift, she's amazing. Was he wrong for going on stage? Absolutely. Was he telling the truth? He was telling the truth. Beyonce deserved that award, but you can't take it from somebody else. It wasn't Taylor Swift's fault. Amber also claimed that she was in shock at the time of the controversy because the VMA staff pulled Kanye aside, though she insisted he was very remorseful for his actions. Music, so thank you so much for giving me a chance to win a VMA award. I... Yo, Taylor, I I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. She added, I was there but it wasn't, it didn't happen to me. And I can honestly say that he was very remorseful. He instantly felt bad because it wasn't about Taylor at all. It wasn't like I think the media made it seem like he was speaking on her and stuff. He wasn't, he was just standing up for Beyonce. Additionally, she also claimed the whole thing was an unfortunate situation, pointing to the huge love for Beyonce's hit single ladies at the time saying, it was single ladies. Ladies, I mean, everybody around the world was doing that dance from the video and it was just an unfortunate situation. However, Amber noted she wasn't excusing Kanye's actions and her ex is said to have struggled with the aftermath. She explained, Kanye obviously felt bad he took her moment, he didn't want to do that to her. Of course, Amber coming out to claim Kanye was telling the truth comes as a surprise because the two haven't had a very good relationship for years and things even turned for the worst after their feud publicly played out on social media. To give you some insights on what really went down, in a now deleted tweet, Kanye West posted that Khalifa was bound to Rose until their two-year-old son Sebastian reaches adulthood. He added, Fourth, you let a stripper trap you. Fifth, I know you mad every time you look at your child that this girl got you for 18 years. Sixth, don't even come out the side of your neck at me. Why, why? Because by the way, it's like it, it's very hard for a woman to want to, you know, want to be with someone that's with Amber Rose. So she wasn't saying nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like I had to, I had to take 30 showers before I got with Kim, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Amber quickly caught wind of Kanye West's remarks and sniffed back at her ex-boyfriend with a very raunchy retort. She wrote, Oh, Kanye West, are you mad I'm not around to play in your a-hole anymore? Hashtag fingers in the booty AB. She tweeted adding, LOL, well, Kanye West, now you want to delete your tweets cause Mover has arrived? Hashtag Twitter fingers, hashtag you're getting bodied by a stripper and it escalated as both got engaged in more Twitter feeds and diss tracks, however, it appears that's all just in a matter of years. It appears Amber is putting all the drama behind her because why else would she mention that Kanye was right? Now, speaking of that, I must say I agree with her on that one. Beyonce's music video was undeniably groundbreaking and memorable, and let us be honest, many people share that sentiment. For those of you who need a refresher, the incident occurred when Taylor Swift was accepting a word for You Belong With Me and Kanye West suddenly stormed the stage, grabbed the microphone from 
from her and declared that Beyonce's single ladies video was one of the best of all time. He said, You're Taylor, I'm really happy for you. I'm late to finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. The crowd was stunned and Taylor Swift was visibly shaken by the incident. The fallout from the incident was immediate and intense. Kanye West was widely criticized for his behavior with many people calling him disrespectful and arrogant. Taylor Swift became a sympathetic figure and her fans rallied around her in support. Interestingly, in the days and weeks that followed, both Kanye West and Taylor Swift made public statements about the incident. Kanye apologized to Taylor saying that he was in the wrong and that he would never do anything to hurt her. Taylor accepted his apology and said that she hoped they could move on from the incident. Now that we are all on the same page, we can all agree that Kanye's approach was far from graceful. Yes, no excuse, it was wrong of him to storm the stage like that and publicly embarrass Taylor Swift. But let's be real, this is Kanye we're talking about. That man is known for his outlandish behavior and tendency to speak his mind no matter how inappropriate the timing may be. Anyway, into the real issue at hand, Beyonce versus Taylor Swift, the actual argument Kanye was making, honestly, he had a point. For one, at a time, single ladies was a culture phenomenon that year, in fact, it was an absolute banger that dominated the charts. Its catchy beat, iconic dance moves, and empowering message made it an instant classic. Meanwhile, You Belong With Me was just another cute, unforgettable pop song. Now, don't get me wrong, it was undoubtedly a great song, showcasing Taylor Swift's signature storytelling style, and I know it resonated with many listeners, particularly those navigating the hardships of teenage love. However, in terms of impact and cultural significance, single ladies undeniably had a stronger presence. And I know some of you are going to argue that Taylor Swift's heartfelt lyrics and relatable storytelling gave her the edge, which I understand, but when it comes to sheer entertainment value and influence, single ladies was a force to be reckoned with, so it is hard to argue that it wasn't the more deserving winner. Anyway, now that the debate has resurfaced, where does this leave Beyonce and Taylor Swift? For one, tensions are surely building between the two because, let me tell you, nobody likes to be told they aren't deserving of an award. And to add fuel to the fire, it appears that Beyonce and Taylor are at odds. If you haven't noticed yet, Beyonce attended Taylor's New Era's tour movie premiere showing her support. However, Taylor didn't reciprocate the gesture and didn't show up to Beyonce's Renaissance movie premiere. Sounds like drama, right? Anyway, as for Amber Rose, many fans have shared their opinions on her take as one fan claimed she did something controversial yet so brave. Another asked, is anyone really all that surprised? Yeezy told her well. What about you? What are your thoughts on this unfolding drama? We want to hear from you. Leave your opinions in the comments below and don't forget to like and watch our next video for more juicy updates. Stay tuned.